Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what's coming through for you tonight. This message is for Libra. You got a lot coming out. Oh, somebody could have been through some type of rough times. Some type of railroads turned dark. This could be you. This could be somebody who's close to you in your energy. Somebody could have gone through some type of rough patch because something was stolen from them. Something was taken from them. All right. But, but there's a symbol of riches near. There's a symbol of something near. It's almost given like um, this will be the perfect time for you to look up. Okay. Look up because there's something for you. But somebody has been through a lot, um, a lot a lot here let me get one more card behind the ship to see all right okay so we also have the book okay so this is a mystery somebody's going through some type of rough time we'll get more on the rough time as we go in um but it was a long journey of a lot it felt like you know the saying if you break a mirror you get like eight years bad luck felt like a long time of bad luck where somebody couldn't get things right either this was in career you could never like find your job or make the amount of money that would fulfill you or this could be in love you can never quite find your person you always feel like something just isn't right and you feel like you have to settle so this would be places where you would like feel like you mostly have to settle for some of you guys this could be many areas you could feel like all around like things just have not been right but there's some type of um, mystery within all of this. There's some type of mystery how all of this ties together to this amazing opportunity that's coming in your way. Now, the way that most of us get caught up in situations like this is when it's time for us to be big and jump at opportunities, we are scared shitless and we tend to stay small. So this is where a lot of affirmations are going to help you. This is where being your own cheerleader, this is where like Puffing yourself up is definitely going to matter. Um, how you talk to you is definitely going to be really, really key in this stage in your life. All right. So I'm going to get an energy card for you to see the energy of this reading for whoever this is resonating with. It looks like somebody could have gone through some type of robbery or felt like something could have been taken from them. Yeah, you do have caring connections here. Um, you have family. For some of you guys, there could be something happening within family. And look, you have a broken heart. So I feel like for some of you guys, there was a person close to you that was supposed to be good to you. Somebody was supposed to care for you. Somebody was supposed to nurture you like family should have. I do also feel like for some of you guys, when you lose one thing, you gain another. So I do feel like that there's some type of blessing or lesson in disguise um, here about this type of um, this type of misfortune that a person could definitely be going through in their life. This will be a video to get you to continue to keep on going and kind of figure out what's the mystery. How is it all linking together? So first, I'm going to go through each card to get the tarot energy behind it or the tarot energy that's surrounding it. Why it was coming out of my deck for it. Um, and then we're going to go into the mystery, like deep Dig real, real deep into that, all right? So if you find something that resonates, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Tell me more about the railroad for Libra. The railroad for Libra. We do have this long journey. So the energy is coming up. It's the same. It's a long journey. It's the Knights of Pentacles. Something was really, really long. For some of you guys, this is coming up in love. Like this is really hitting the person that they're thinking about some type of love relationship. Also, the lover's card represents a career or a business that you really love doing, something that you love doing. Something has been taking you so long to get stable in this situation. And this is all that you're thinking about. Look at what the Queen of Swords is thinking about. This is all that you're thinking about. You're thinking about uniting with this thing. So for some of you guys, this is your strength. This is what keeps you going. Um, so many people may have asked you, why haven't you given up by now? Why haven't you given up on that business? Why haven't you given up on love? It's because 
everything in your mind, everything that you're thinking about is uniting with that thing. The Three of Cups is the unity, it's the coming together. So you don't care how long it takes, as long as you come together with your desire. So the Queen of Swords is kind of really, really disciplined. The Queen of Swords is very, very focused on what she wants right now. All right. What's going on, what's making the journey tough, 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 is this devil energy here. It's this negative self-talk. It's this negative low vibration that you could be around. It's that devil card that's kind of trying to get you to do things differently that, that aren't really of you. For some of you guys, it could be the decisions that you made out of desperation, the, the decisions that you made out of insecurity. Um, it's trying to get you to make these commitments that will not give you your results. So let's say you have a big engagement to go to. And you keep telling yourself that, you know, you're not good enough and you should just stay in the house. So it makes you to make that commitment to stay. Um, and instead of making the commitment to get to go to this big event or whatever, that maybe there was something there for you. But I feel like the you choose the biggest lesson that you need at that time. So there's a lesson that a person needs to figure out about their procrastination and self-sabotage and how they self-sabotage themselves, how they can be so focused on their dream, on their goal. And then that one, that self-sabotage comes in and sets them back. How, if you didn't have self-sabotage, you would definitely be blossoming. How that's the only weapon that's coming against you right now that is kind of prospering because you give it, you give it permission to, you make it happen. So for some of you guys, there's a lesson in self, um, self-procrastination self and self-sabotage. But even though something is taking really, really long, you're completely focused on it, all right? So that's that long journey. You are fighting this, this, this low vibrational energy. I was about to say this demon. You do have the Knight of Wands here, and this is... Somebody feels like they have bad luck because something came out of the blue, okay? While a person thought that they were going to the next level, and that could have been in a relationship or a career or a business. While you thought something was taking off and something was going to the next level, something was finally, you actually took a step back. Somebody fell all in completely, completely. And what happens when the fool falls and it falls right on his ass? What are you blaming or who are you blaming? Or is there anyone to blame here? There's something that you really counted on happening. But it didn't happen for you. And do you see how we talk about this big energy? Like you finally thought something was going to happen. You finally, you finally. And we just talk about that one moment of self-sabotage. That one moment of self-procrastination holds you back from something. And not only does this thing hold you back, this kind of turns something around where it almost feels like you fail completely. A lot of this comes from you not being able to open up yourself, open yourself up. For some of you guys in the forms of business and creativity, this would be surrendering your creations to the universe opening, expanding yourself up, letting more, let, letting yourself be more exposed, being comfortable with the lights for a minute. In love relationship, this would be the emotional um, standing of the relationship moving to that next level, allowing it to move to that next level. Now, not saying that you had all the perfect tools, you know, we don't have all the perfect tools in life to get us across the bridge. 
But we do all have these trials and these tribulations and we have to kind of make do with the best we can. Some of us, we get through them out of pure luck. Some of us, we get through them out of healing, learning, and understanding. Some of us, we fall through. We, like, make it through by the hair on our, the, 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 by the skin on our teeth. And then some of us, we have to complete, con we have to do this um, cycle over and over and over and over again. We have to continue to learn and continue to be focused on ourselves. We have to continue to focus on ourselves. Someone's not reading the, their self. Yes, communication. Somebody's communication. Someone needs to learn how to communicate. And then we have the thief. This is thief energy coming up. This is thief energy coming up. This is a repeat offender, an actual person. See this heartbreak? Yeah, the last thing they did already broke your heart. Somebody is like, I'm already heartbroken. <laughs> Like the last thing a person did already broke your heart. The last thing that happened already broke your heart. And I feel like there's a person who's going through a lot. Like somebody is going through like, they're like, no more. I can possibly take no more. This energy of this seven of swords here. And for some of you guys, there is a repeat offender. And this is the repeat offender that is robbing you not only of when they come and taking whatever, but they're robbing you of your opportunities because when you are there to be open, you close yourself up because of this post-traumatic distress or past trauma of this repeat offender coming in your life, tearing things up and then leaving. For you to figure out the pieces. And then when you muster up enough strength to continue to go on here, they come again to take some more. And it becomes a cycle. It, comes, it becomes a cycle. So you just become more guarded and more guarded and more guarded. But there's a, a small space for this person. And I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be trying to fill a void. There's a, there's a place that a person could have definitely um, left some type of void that you could be trying to fill it with a person. But in the most times, the only times where you are supposed to hold yourself back, it would be from this Seven of Swords. And that could possibly be the lesson. That doesn't mean that everybody gets canceled or you stop talking to everybody. This repeat offender deserves your silence. This repeat offender deserves to see you walk away or close up or withheld some type of information. This repeat offender, not these new people that's coming in your life that's making you afraid because it's like you don't know these person's intentions because you don't know them. Well, you know this repeat offender and you still don't know their intentions. For some of you guys, there could definitely be like, there needs to be reassurance that you know how to handle yourself. You will be 100% fine. 100% fine. You got this three of cups. The same thing that you've been thinking about. So for some of you guys, you've been trying to get this person. You've been trying to get something that has not, has been showing you it doesn't want you. And I hate to say that. It sounds so harsh to just say that like that. But somebody's been running after something that's been constantly showing them over and over and over and over and over again. And somebody finally gets the picture. Tell me more about... 
the ship? What's the energy of the ship? I think I already know the, um, you got the Queen of Cups comes in. Queen of Cups comes in. Somebody gets a love opportunity in the midst of it all. In the midst of it all. An opportunity to open yourself up. You see? Don't get you an opportunity to show your guards and show them all. No, it gives you the opportunity to open yourself up and be a little bit more vulnerable. To feel a little bit more deeply. So this will be a tough task for someone. A really, really tough task. But it's coming with all the flowers and appreciation and the love that you deserve. This opportunity that, that swoops right in. There's a person who needs to be vulnerable. Somebody gets an opportunity to open themselves up, completely open. And this is justice. You wouldn't know that this would be justice. Justice is going to feel so uncomfortable. Because justice is going to have you do the exact opposite thing that you want to do right now. It's not about want. It's about vulnerability. Something's not about wants. It's not about wants. It's not about desires. It's not about comfort even. It's about vulnerability. It's about still being 100% open. It's about still being able to trust. It's about still having faith. It's about proving that you are blessed or the blessed ones. The ones that have faith without sight, that believe without seeing. For somebody, the choice that you need to make or where you need to sit right now, it has nothing to do with comfort. It has everything to do with you being open, you being vulnerable, and you trusting. For some of you guys, simply walking back or walking into a certain arena or going into this new environment, which is, it could be looking like it's familiar to you, but it really is. A ship coming in. It really is this riches. It's really it, it really is a lot. It really is an overly excessive amount of something. It really is your justice. But there's a need for you to look at it in a different type of way. It really is all of your recognition for all of your hard work. You've been waiting for it. And I do feel like for some of you guys, you find it in a place that could be at first glance. At first sitting, at first meeting, very, very uncomfortable, all right? But there's a piece of you. Your high priestess has been giving you lots of hints. For some of you guys, you've been thinking about either entering a love relationship or opening up yourself to another person or opening up yourself when it comes business finance-wise. And there's been a piece of this on your mind. You haven't been able to stop thinking about it. And that's what the book is. And I do feel like for some of you guys, there's a mystery when you get there. The opening is getting on the ship. It's trusting that this ship will lead you to where you need to go. After you've trusted in something and it led you to where you don't want to be. After you've trusted someone and they've led you astray, this will be you trusting someone else and they actually lead you to justice. After you've tread a certain destination or a certain um, direction in your life and it led you astray, this will be you trusting it and it leading you to justice, to everything that it is that you want. Justice is about to get very uncomfortable for a lot of us. It's not about our comfort anymore. It's not about the, the peaches and cream and everything is this and that. It's about really opening up yourself. And really tapping into that real strength, which most people look like as weakness. And it's just like taking those rose color, not even rose color, but you know the drunk goggles. I feel like that's what a lot of people, they look at life through the drunk goggles. A lot of things are opposites. A lot of things are dualities. And I seen Cardi B talking about something and she was talking about like the dynamic of a relationship. 
And she was like, the internet, social media got a lot of people messed up on what the dynamic is of a relationship. Multi-millionaire married another multi-millionaire. Talking about the roles and relationships and money and things like that. And it's, they was, she was saying, like, you act like you've never seen your parents work together. you never seen your grandparents work together. And then you get older and it's like, you don't, you forgot. It's those drunk goggles that a blessing such as the internet, where we're able to get so much information and connect on different levels, can definitely... It can definitely taint our perception on a lot of things. And ripping those glasses off could be painful for a lot of people. But right now, justice is not coming in comfortable. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And you have the Knight of Cups. Somebody is going to get some type of offer. There's an offer that you can't quite refuse. There's a love offer. Somebody is taking you out. Um, somebody is confessing their love to you. Somebody is giving you all of... And this could definitely be just the universe. This could definitely be in the terms of career. Love in the tarot deck really goes hand in hand with career. Um, but the... The Knight of Cups would be this thing desiring you, this thing wanting you. And I do feel like there's a new opportunity or, or, opportunity, or there's something that you have been thinking about doing um, that is a little bit uncomfortable for you. And little do you know that this thing wants you to. You've been thinking about it, but you don't really know. So this would be a mystery that you unlocked. Like you'd be like, that would be nice, but you don't really know for sure. And your intuition, your high priestess keep on putting those, that would be nice if. Getting you to kind of think about it, getting you to kind of um, visualize, tap more into your intuition. Because that is what it's going to do. It's going to want you to. So like I said, somebody who was chasing something that didn't want them, there's a new opportunity that comes to you. It's not going to look comfortable. It's not going to look like what it is that you want it to look like. But at this point in time, you stepping into it will be you being fully open. It wouldn't be you being um, guarded or trying to protect something, trying to pretend this would be fully yourself. Like, okay, I need to do this. And that would be a vulnerability. Asking for help or going into a place where you feel like you need something, that is an act of vulnerability. And that act of vulnerability is met with justice, which is a very, very uncomfortable place to put yourself in after you've been chasing something that doesn't want you. Now, we're going to get into this feminine energy because I feel like the feminines, you know, they show out here. They Y'all love me, okay? The feminine energy is the moment you messed up is the moment you thought you had to chase it. Because the moment you open yourself up and you just confess, I need this, I really want this, I'm not giving up on this, I might feel whatever, but I'm going to, you know, go into this, I'm going to open myself, I'm going to feel. The moment that you do that, everything is running towards you. You got the Knight of Cups, you got the Six of Wands, you got the Emperor. It's all things coming to you. You don't have to move. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to. But somebody had to chase something for a while in order to get into their real feminine energy to learn how to attract. Somebody had to see how much things um, repelled from them and, and the energy of their repelling energy because we do have repelling energy where we can repel things away. We have attractive energy. So somebody had to sit a long time in their repelling energy to see what it is they were doing what it is other people were doing, what it is that they were believing about themselves, how they were acting, how they were procrastinating and self-sabotaging in order to get into their true feminine energy to learn how to attract. All right. So I'm going to leave this reading right here. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.